Welcome to James Cook University and welcome to the first subject in the Ridge to Reef program. My name is Janine Sheaves and I'm the subject coordinator for this subject. So what we're going to be doing is introducing the subject here, EV5961, which is called Ecosystems Dynamics in the Ridge to Reef program. So a brief description of the subject. Okay, so ecosystem dynamics, it relates to interlinked networks of interactions among orga organisms and between organisms and their environment that facilitates the proper functioning of an ecosystem. So if you look at this model here, these are the habitats here. So on any one island, you could get all of these different habitats here. And you can see that the habitats are linked or there's interactions going on between them or there is animals traveling from between the different habitats. So along with that, you also get landscape processes that are interacting on the habitats. Landscape process includes such things as uh, the growth, the dispersal of organisms and predation that is happening. You also have factors here such as erosion and runoff and sedimentation. All of these factors here impacting on the habitats and the organisms living in them. You also get a lot of human activity that interact on the habitats as well in the organisms. And you can also have abiotic factors such as the soil type, which influences where organisms can live and what can grow there, the amount of rainfall, amount of sunlight, wind, etc. But you also get all of the biotic factors influence all, all of these. And these arrows indicate interactions between all of these groups. So you can see that there's a lot of interactions going on within an environment. And to fully manage a system, you really need to understand all of these linkages. So you need to know what is going on in an area if you want to manage it. So gaining clear understanding of ecosystem dynamics is pivotal to successful management. So this subject focuses on developing an integrated whole of catchment understanding. Rather than focusing in on a small area where you don't get the whole picture, you really need to look at the whole of catchment area. So this subject explores the details and implications of ecosystem dynamics from a management perspective. We will develop an understanding of the ecology of the key components of terrestrial and marine ecosystems, including forests, rivers, mangroves, seagrass beds and coral reefs. In addition, we will develop an understanding of the connectivity. See how it was all connected in this diagram here? All of these arrows show the connectivity. So we'll develop an understanding of the connectivity and interaction between these ecosystems and the functioning of the key ecosystem supporting processes. So just going to give you a brief introduction to the subject and where you find out information. So an important document for you to look at is called the subject outline. And this is the front, this is the front page of the subject outline here. It has information on contact details for all staff, the lectures, the assessment, all of the learning resources that we have um, available for you, the textbook information for this subject, and information about the postgraduate teaching week, which is in Tonga. All of this information is available on Learn JCU in the subject outline. Okay, so the subject outline, it's available on Learn JCU. So this is how you will find where Learn JCU is. You go to the JCU webpage, this is what it looks like. And you can see up here, there's a number of tabs. This is the tab you'll be clicking on. When you click on that tab, this is what comes up, that was a tab there. You click on that, then this uh, image here pops down, then you click on Learn JCU there. Then it'll come up and it'll ask you to log in. So you log in using your username and password. Then you double click on this here, this will come up, double click on that, and it will take you to this page. This is your Learn JCU subject for EV5961. And you can see where all the different modules are with the subject outline, assessment, learning resources, and a whole range of other things. So to find the subject outline, you click on this tab here. Then this opens up. Then you double click on that image there, and then you have the subject outline. In the subject outline, you'll find all of the staff members associated with the subject and their email address in this tab, and it's all in this table here. It's also available here. So if you click on the contacts section here, this will open up 
and this is all the lecturers that you'll be uh, hearing lectures from and here are their email addresses. This is also in the subject outline. It's all of the assessment that is for this subject. So there's five pieces of assessment. This is how much this assessment is worth. This is when they're, they're due, the week that they're due, and this is the date that they're due. So please put these uh, pieces of assessments in your calendar and start doing them as soon as possible. On the last page of the subject outline is the subject calendar and it shows you a great deal of information. It shows you the module number and what is in each module. It has the dates and the week. So week one of semester is those days, week two of semester is those and so forth. It also has when the postgraduate teaching week at Tonga is and it also shows you where lecture recess is. This side here, it has the unit number, it has the lecture, this is the lecture here that you're hearing now, and who's giving it, so that you know which lectures are coming up, what unit they're in, and who's lecturing them. So for each week, you should listen to the lectures and take notes, complete any worksheets that are associated with the lectures, and any readings, uh, if you want to uh, find out additional information from the lectures uh, or something you found was interesting, you will also have access to the, all the JCU library services. There's a textbook, textbook for this subject as well. The prescribed textbook is this one here. It's available on the Learn JCU site. So to sign that, to find that, sorry, go to Learn JCU. Go down here to the textbook, click on that tab there. This will come up. Then you double click on that and then the textbook will download, download for you. There's a whole range of uh, support available to students. So if you need any assistance, have a look here and there's a the contact details for them and it's available on the um, subject outline. So we need to stay in contact. Communication is vitally important. Most of our communication is via emails. So learn JCU and emails, we use those extensively in the subject. So keep, keep checking the learn JCU site for new information being put up there and check your emails for any correspondence. Emails will be sent to your JCU email account, not a Gmail account or any other account. So please check your JCU email account for contact with us. So emails, I send you a lot of important information via emails. So check them regularly, it's very important. Obviously it's our main point of contact with you. I also send out announcements and they, these announcements will also appear on the Learn JCU site and they're also an important source of information. So the key success in any subject is you need to keep up to date. Put important dates, for example, when your assessment is, uh, put it in your calendar and start working on things early. Don't leave it to the last minute. You've got to plan ahead and start doing it. Seek help as soon as you need it. Don't wait. Okay, so if anything is of a concern, just contact me and we'll see what we can do to help. And if you don't understand anything, just ask. We're here to help. Okay, so that's the end of the lecture. Uh, I'd like to welcome you to this program and I hope you enjoy it. Thank you for listening.